Okay, so this is uh, KJ with um, with White and Kim Myung Jung. Um, I hope that's close to his name. Kim Myung Jung, Kim Myung Hoon. I believe that's how it's supposed to be. Yes. Um, he has Kim has black anyway, so he has the black stones and KJ has the white stones. Mm hmm. Oh yeah, so that's what our RAB was talking about. Yeah, maybe he's just a pro in Europe, but he's a he's a tough player. Um, but unfortunately, he 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 lost in the first round. Okay, let's take a look at the opening. Okay, so this pattern on the top there is has become fairly common where white sort of combines this joseki on the upper right with the approach move on the in the upper left so um they're combining to make kind of a, a nice area there for white um and it's about even i'm also noticing that um people don't bother with the corner enclosures as much as they used to so it's um, uh, not unusual to see just about every corner being approached like this. Okay, let's stop there. Um, when white cuts here, um, this used to be by far the most common um, joseki. And the, I think the reason that it seems to be dying out is that white is getting into this variation almost always when the latter favors white. So what's white, white is going to try to do is white plays like this and black needs to defend the corner and if white can capture in the latter here. Um, so white can capture in the latter and probably good for white. So I, I like this for white when the ladder works. Uh, there's some potential towards the left side of the board, so that's working. And so maybe that's why this variation has become relatively rare, rarer than it used to be at least. So um, it's become more common for black to be playing here uh, and sometimes capturing, sometimes not, but yeah. So that's what he was doing here. Um, and black is going to peep at e14 at some point. Yeah, so he seems to be trying to have hopes of attacking that white wall, which uh, doesn't really seem... Um, reasonable but um the peep is going to be really the peep i'm talking about is this uh this one it can be very annoying because it's it's white well, doesn't really want to connect but if black cuts there it gets really um difficult to and sometimes black can continue with moves like this and sort of put pressure on the whole wall Okay, so that's a strong move. Um, trying to cut white off. So black is sort of uh, focusing on this white group on the right there. Okay, and white cut, okay. 
So um, everything is weak here. Uh, but for the time being, these black three stones in the center, they cannot be captured. So if white plays, this would be the geta shape. But for the time being, it's not working because of this cut here. So white has no way to capture those three stones on the right, provided black is has a strong shape on the left there. So if white were to play, for instance, something like this, then white would be threatening um, these three stones. So probably would be good for white if white can capture the three stones here. And we would probably see black playing something like this instead. So if black can escape, though, then the upper side is really bad for white locally. So uh, probably not a good idea for white. Oh, oh, but that's where he played. Okay, sorry about that. So this is the game. Um, okay, so black is playing a cut there. So this is a tesuji where black can um, cut here um, and play the next move either on the third line at i3. Uh, let's just make a variation. So if white plays on this side, black can play here. Um, and black seems to have a fairly good shape here. Um, in some cases, like if we have something like this, if black curls around here, black is threatening um, is threatening to cut white off with moves like this. Um, in actual play, black, black would probably continue in the center, actually. Um, it looks like black should be able to handle this group on the top. <clears throat> if white connects, black might play here um, or here, one of those two. And black should be able to handle that group on the top. On the other hand, if white plays down here, then black can break through here. Um, yeah, this this should be, even if we end up with something like this, this is probably going to be okay for black. Uh, black's going to get a good position on the left there. <clears throat> so that's the idea with the cut here. And so white has to choose whether to play on the top or the bottom. Um, so I showed, let's see, I showed this move, which is probably just bad for white. And I showed this move, which is not looking so good either. The other choice would be to play an Atari against this cutting black stone, uh, maybe something like this. So this would reduce the value of white stone on the fifth line, making it relatively good for white to be playing moves like this. And, allowing black to capture it. So this is, um, if any of you were watching my Ponnuki video, um, I talked about a Ponnuki being worth 30 points and how it's not so good when you have a stone cluttering it up with like the black stone at two, which would reduce the value of um, black's Ponnuki. Oh, go baduk weichi. Thank you very much. Thank you for the present. Some coffee. But of course, there is a question of what if black plays here now and black can break out into the center. So um, with the exchange of one for two, that makes white stones on this side a bit weaker and black can always break through here. So in this case, black's not going to go after the one stone. Otherwise, white could be trying something like this, in which case, uh, let's see. In which case, if black goes after this stone, white can capture these guys. So th this would capture the four black stones on the right. Or if black plays here, white can play strongly like this. This looks this looks good for white. So I guess playing an Atari at one, and if black plays an Atari on this side, um, this is a pretty good shape for white um, in the upper left. So white could probably continue with something like this. And in a pinch, white can do something like this to save the stones on the right. So this looks like a feasible variation for white.
Gu Jihao died everywhere. Maybe we should look at that later. I believe this is the game. Well, he's not dead everywhere. He's just crawling around on the first line, that's all. Okay, let's get back to the game. Okay, so White's thinking about that. So I'd say if White can capture the one stone like this. So if White can capture this stone like this. Uh, with a real Ponuki, that is. Um, this looks... Playable for white, maybe good for white. But if white ends up with a kind of a flawed shape like this on the top side, where black is still threatening to do stuff like this, and it would be getting really messy there, this would be a disaster. This, was a, this would be bad for white, usually. And so I think the fight starts with white playing here and trying to put pressure on this black group on the top. So I, I'm not really sure how this is would turn out but it looks it looks like it's sort of working for white in this variation so it's either this one or black is going to allow white to do that and play this way um but as i was saying like in this variation um black can probably play a lot of forcing moves here and eventually surround white but white won't be able to probably handle that weak group somehow um maybe with this move <clears throat> So that's my guess for how this turns out. Let's see, what game shall I go on next? Um, let's see, Shinjin So. We saw Shinjin So. Kim Ji Sok. We have Kim Ji Jisook and Yang Ding Shin. Let's try that one. Okay, so this is okay. They're still at this position. I'd say that White is probably going to spend some time here. Uh, he already is, but um, um, it's a good point for White to be thinking about it. And just to uh, repeat my comment about the time. I believe they started with two and a half hours each, but the clocks on this server were set at three hours. So that's kind of a bit of confusion for me. And I'm, I believe that you probably have to just subtract about 30 minutes from the times that are showing. So maybe they have about an hour and a half each at this point. Okay. Yes, everyone hit the like button. Thank you. Thank you, Ikichin. And it makes a difference. Surprisingly, it makes a real difference. Although I still don't haven't figured that out. Okay, wait, white played down here. Uh, not the move that I expected. Okay, so we can we can stay with this game just a little bit longer. I'm pretty sure black is going to Black still has a choice here, but I, I would be happy to play this way and sacrifice. Uh, let's see, how does Black sacrifice? Maybe just down here. And White will still have to add stones there. So Black's going to capture, or Black could jump. It's one of these two. And Black's going to get the upper left corner. Um, black stones on the outside, those four stones, they're not going to be completely wasted. So I'd, I'd say this is good enough for black. But if black wants to be really uh, obstinate, he can play this way. Um, this would be an exciting fight too, in which white can play here. The ladder favors black, so black can start with something like this. Uh, this ladder favors black. And it looks like it's um, another huge fight with which I don't really know what's going to happen. I just don't know. I, I wouldn't be confident with black to play this way. 
but it's it's something that could be interesting um if black can find a good i i would just play the atari though like i i know that if white extends here it's uh just this bad Aji here probably makes it good for black so i i would expect this variation where white sacrifices and black is getting i think black's getting enough profit back in the upper upper left okay this is kj's game so KJ has white, and they're in a fight on the lower part of the board. Uh, White's not in trouble locally. So what's happening here? Black has a lot of territory. That, that's all I can say about this game. Black has a lot of territory. It's not looking so good for white. Black's territory is all over the place. So I would say this looks good for for black, which is um, Kim Milhon. That's why he's smiling so much on this.